Hey guys, it's Joe, and in this video I'm going to show you a cool trick about using two different reverbs in a track. Now the premise behind this is to use essentially one small reverb and then one large reverb, and then get a blend of the two sounds. So you use the small reverb for the early reflections, and then the larger reverb for the later ones. So I'll just be demonstrating this on Space Designer, so nice and simple. I've just set up two buses on my lead synth here. So I've got bus 1 for my small reverb, and then bus 2 for my large. So the small reverb looks like this. I've just chosen a preset, a medium hall, and then reduced the size of it to make it a little bit smaller. So I've gone for a 440 millisecond length with zero pre-delay. And as with all the reverbs that I tend to use, I take out a little bit of the low end on the EQ just so it doesn't get as muddy in the mix. And of course I've whacked the wet signal up to full because we're using it on a bus. And then for the larger reverb, it looks like this. So we've gone for a much longer length, it's three and a half seconds, and we've put a bit of pre-delay on there. So the reason for that is that it will come in slightly after the smaller reverb, not before it finishes, just a little bit after it begins, so we do get more of those later reflections and they're not quite clashing as much. And again, taking that a little bit low end. So once we're happy with the reverbs, it's good to kind of test them out on their own as well to make sure they sound all right. Of course, I've already done that before recording this. Um, so we're just gonna try and blend them together. So I always start with a small one to try and get that sounding quite nice. Um, depending on what you're using it on, so in this case, a lead sound, I tend to use more of the larger reverb than the smaller because I want it to sound huge and fill out a lot of space. So just start to blend in the smaller reverb first. To a point where we can just about start to hear it really and then probably just push it up a little bit more from there and then once we're happy with that we want to start to bring in the larger reverb and again this all depends on what you're using it on it all depends on your preference but for this i don't want it to sound like it's going on forever I just want it to kind of be a little bit more subtle but still fill out that space so around here I quite like so we're just getting a decent balance of the two as always this is all just preference if you want a bit more of the smaller reverb on it and a little bit less of the large that's absolutely fine we can reverse that a little bit So it still sounds like it's quite up and close to you, but there's still lots of reflections happening behind it, as it were. So use a small reverb to make it sound quite intimate and like you're in the same room as it, and then the larger reverb to make it sound absolutely massive and that it's filling out all that space. And finding a good mix of those two can provide some really, really good results. I hope you found this video useful, and if you have any questions, please leave a comment or contact me via my website. Thanks a lot for watching. Cheers.